today on our 2014 Chevrolet Traverse, we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install the Takancha T1 vehicle wiring harness for factory tow package with 7-way trailer connector, part number 118271. With the 7-way, you're going to have more versatility with trailers. It also allows you to use trailer brakes as long as you have a brake controller installed in your vehicle. This is what you're going to get in your wiring kit. You're going to get your 7-way connector that's going to be hooked up on the back of your vehicle. You're going to have your plug, which this end is going to hook into your 7-way once we get it ran. This end is going to hook into your existing wiring, which I'm going to show you how to install that. You're going to have your fuses, your relays, and you're going to have a few zip ties. What I'm going to use today is I'm going to have a pair of wire cutters for my zip ties. I'm going to have a trim panel tool so that I can reach up and pull out the wiring, which I'm going to show you how to do now. To start our installation, a wiring harness that we need to connect to is up here on the inside behind this panel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it down using my trim panel tool because it's connected into the side. You can see this is our wiring harness, existing wiring harness that is connected to our vehicle. You look down here on the bottom, it kind of has a square shaped area. If you look on the wiring harness that we're connecting, the bottom of this one kind of has a square shaped add-on. That's the part that's going to slide inside of there. Now before we make our connections, it's a good idea to put some dielectric grease on your connections. It kind of helps keep the moisture away from them. So we're going to make sure we get some on, on all of our points here. So this is what it looks like when it's connected. What you want to do is when you put the two pieces together, you want to make sure you listen for the click. When you hear the click, you know you're connected. So now that we have it connected, we're going to route our wiring harness this way. We're going to go over top our hitch. We're just going to let that hang there for now. What we're going to do, do is we're going to run a zip tie right through here to get our wiring up there. The reason we're doing that is we want to keep it away from the exhaust. Now, as you can see, we already have a welded on mounting plate here. Our seven way will not connect on there. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to use this bracket here, part number PK12711U-26. Now the bracket comes with two self-tapping screws to install onto your hitch. I'm actually gonna replace it with these two bolts and nuts. Once we get these two nuts and bolts mounted up here, we'll go ahead and snug it up just to hold our bracket in place. So I'm gonna use a Phillips screwdriver and a 3 8 socket. Now we can mount our seven way onto our bracket and we're gonna have four corners to attach. Now that we have all our hardware in place, we'll go ahead and tighten everything up. Now that we have our seven way firmly in place, we'll go ahead and hook up our wiring. Again, we're gonna take some dielectric grease. We'll just put it on the mounting points here. Now, as you can see, we have some extra wiring. So all I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna bundle it up. I'm going to zip tie it right up here to the back of the hitch. Once we have our wiring connected in the back, now we can come up to the front of the fuse panel. We can start inserting our, our fuses and our relays. So I'll use a screwdriver. You just want to push it forward. And the same on these other remaining two. We're just gonna set that aside. So we're gonna start with our 10 amp fuses. We're gonna, first we're gonna do our trailer backup, which is gonna be F8 right here. So I'll go ahead and put our 10 amp fuse, one of our 10 amp fuses in that spot. Our next position is gonna be right turn. It's gonna be position F17, which is gonna be right here. 
Our next one is gonna be left turn, which is gonna be position 21, which is directly behind it. And our last 10 amp fuse is gonna be for our trailer park lamps. That's gonna be position F41. Next, we're gonna move on to our 30 amp fuses. First one's gonna be our trailer power. It's gonna be F30, which is gonna be this one here. Our next one is gonna be for a trailer brake. It's gonna be F34, which is gonna be right behind it. Next, we're gonna have our relays. One is gonna be a right turn signal. It's gonna go in R16, which is gonna be right here. Next one's gonna be left turn signal. It's gonna be an R15. It's gonna be right here. And our next one is gonna be for our trailer backup. It's gonna be right here on this end. Now that we have all our fuses in place, we'll go ahead and put our cover back on. And we'll test it out. We have our running lights, our brake lights, left turn, right turn. And that'll do it for the Takancha T1 vehicle wiring harness for factory tow package with seven-way trailer connector, part number 118271 on our 2014 Chevrolet. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.